All right, so we're gonna do a open package here. Um, I just got this in the mail uh, not more than about five minutes ago. Uh, as you can see, it looks like it was driven over by a cart or something like that uh, during the mailing or shipping process. Uh, the envelope itself is otherwise uh, basically intact. Um, so hopefully uh, there's not gonna be any issues with the slab in here. Um, doesn't feel like it's padded with much else, so let's cut this open and see what we got. Uh, thankfully it is wrapped up a little bit more. Yeah, invoice it looks like probably here. All right, so as you guys can see, this is uh, an 1880S MS67. Uh, I got this off of eBay. Uh, this was a buy it now, actually, purchase. Um, and I gotta say, I don't really love the looks of this. Um, it's just a little bit blotchier, I think, uh, than I thought it was gonna be. And I also don't care for the toning that much either. Um, and you know, the reverse doesn't look too bad, but also has some, a lot of that blotchiness in the fields. Uh, and, you know, for an MS-67, just not really quite what I'm looking for. I think I might return this. Um, I don't know what you guys think. Should I hold on to it or, or, or return it? All right, so let's take a look at this one. This one should be um, an 80S. Uh, MS-65 Proof Like Morgan uh, in an old green holder from PCGS. on the whole but I think this looks pretty good yeah at first glance um, I think this is pretty much what I was expecting based off of the eBay posting I believe I paid right around uh, 265 for this yeah and I think the both the um, obverse and reverse look pretty good let's get a closer look here uh, it does have some blotchiness, you know, in the fields. Um, it's not horrible. The cheek looks pretty nice. And then, you know, the reverse also, you know, a little bit of blotchiness in the fields. Um, but, I mean, overall, I think uh, it looks pretty good. Um, given the price I paid, I think is fair. That uh, Sharpie stuff should come off pretty easily with, like, an alcohol swab. Yeah, look at the cheek. I think the cheek looks pretty good. I don't know what do you guys think. Uh, I think I paid a fair price for this uh, at around two sixty-five. I think I'll probably hold on to this. But let me know what you guys think. All right, this just came in today. This should be eighteen seventy-nine S Morgan Silver Dollar. Uh, MS 67 let's take a look here see what we got Nice. 
Yeah, this was a good representation um, on the photos I saw when purchasing this, so I'm happy. This is what I was expecting. Looks good. I like the toning on the reverse. Um, you know, when it comes to the MS67s, it's kind of nice maybe sometimes to not have any toning on them whatsoever. Um, but in this particular case, it's really more, in my opinion, for me, about the obverse being, you know, as close to perfect as possible. I definitely don't mind the toning that this has on the reverse at all. Uh, I think it looks quite nice. It doesn't detract from the MS67 quality of the coin, I don't think. So, what do you guys think? Leave your uh, opinions below. You know, do you like the toning on there? Do you not like it? In this particular case, do you just wish it didn't have any toning, given that it is a 67? I think it looks pretty good. All right, I'm excited to open this one. This is actually gonna be one of my first um, Auction Kings uh, purchases off of eBay. Um, some of you may know they do a ton of sales on eBay. They also, it looks like, uh, do quite a bit of editing, I would say, on their photos. So uh, this is supposed to be um, a 19, 21 Philly Morgan and they had it listed as uh, Dimple basically so uh, You know at first glance this looks pretty good Yeah, so Let's zoom in on this So you can see right here they call it you know incredible dimple um I would definitely say it's proof like uh, dimple. Uh, I'm not so sure. Uh, the reverse looks nice. It does look proof like for sure. You know, you tilt it at the right angle with the lighting. You know, you could definitely say that looks dimple. Um, but I, I wouldn't quite say it actually would get a dimple grade. Um, I'll show you the eBay photos on this, but you know, you can't see that huge scratch on the cheek uh, in the eBay photos. Um, they have a photo that looks kind of like this, um, only it's all blasted white, uh, where you can see the reflection of my finger. Um, and then the other half looks like that, but you can't see the cheek really at all. Uh, and they call it Gem BU. So, you know, uh, certainly I would also agree that it's, uh, you know, brilliant, uncirculated, uh, but it's like an MS-61 probably, uh, you know. So anyway, I paid, I think, like $133 or so for this. Um, not horrible. You know, I think uh, I'll think on this one a little bit, take a closer look at it and uh, decide if I want to send this back to them or not. So that's one upset I think with Auction Kings and some of these other larger eBay uh, sellers is that they will accept returns, so. All right, so here are the eBay photos. Um, as you can see, blast white on the cheek and left side of the coin hiding any of those imperfections. Uh, but this is really how all of their photos look, or a lot of them I should say, are identical to this um when you look at their posting so uh, hopefully uh, this helps uh, and these are the only two photos that they included all right so you guys saw the ebay photos on there um and is you can see i mean they're definitely a lot different than what you're seeing on the actual coin um, but i paid 133 for this um, which i think is actually pretty decent now, if you get a closer look on it, the, the biggest issue or problem with this, um, as you can see kind of down towards the bottom, um, on the left,
left side there are some of those fine lines there's a pretty good angle of it uh, so i think this is would likely get a details grade uh, you know somebody wiped this off at one point uh, put those little streaks on there so this probably would get a details grade um, you know these 1921 um, fillies and you know the others uh, and proof like the price really shoots up on these so and they're hard to come by uh, it's not easy to come by these really so uh, in any case um, I think I'll probably hold on to this um, I think you know 133 I'm okay with that uh, you know won't likely send this off for grading or anything just because I, I do think it would get a details grade but um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, you think that you know 133 is worth it? I do have time to return this. Um, this is Auction Kings. Uh, they do accept returns. So if I feel like you know that scratch on the cheek is too much or it's just got you know too many problems, um, I can still return this by the time uh, this video posts. So I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think. All right. So this is the latest coin to come in. Um, this was another eBay purchase. I bought this one really just because of the toning on it. I liked it a lot. Uh, it is a raw coin, um, so we'll take a look at it uh, here together and see if it lines up with the eBay posting as far as the photos and everything. I had pretty impressive toning on the eBay photos. I don't honestly even remember the date uh, and mint mark on this one right offhand. I believe it's like a 830 or something along those lines. Eighty four. Yeah, eighty four O. Yeah, it does. It has great toning on it. Um, So, yeah, you can kind of see some of that. I'll take this out of this uh, flip probably at some point and try to get some better photos or video of it. But um, I'll show you guys the eBay posting and what, it am, what I ended up paying for this. I, I don't recall off the top of my head. I think it's going to be, it was around $50 or something like that. Um, but this looks pretty nice. I think maybe MS-63. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Uh, yeah, this might get for a grade. Those spots on there aren't exactly appealing, so I guess that would deduct from that too. But um, yeah, overall I really like the toning on the reverse. Here's a look at the eBay photos. I double checked the posting and I paid $66 for this. Um, I think it's, a, again, I think it's probably an MS-63. I think the photos are a good representation of what the coin is. I don't think they're really trying to hide anything. Yeah, uh, let me know what you guys thought of this coin. Put your comments uh, down below whether or not you think that uh, that. Yeah, I paid the right price for this, if it was worth it, if you like the toning. Um, seems to be genuine to me, but if you guys uh, think otherwise, let me know. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.